What's going on? It's your girl Kyra here, interpreter of African American history and culture, motivational and spiritual speaker. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in to my video. I have not really been able to do a When She Speaks a Wednesday segment in a minute, so I'm so happy to be able to be back and doing this video with you guys, okay? Now, a couple things I wanna make sure that I touch on today. Um, to be honest with you guys, a lot of people are having trouble when it comes to how can I put it? Understand whether or not it is the season for relationship for them. We all are dealing with different types of relationships, whether it may be friends, family, uh, significant others, whatever it may be. But I'm not an expert, but I did say today we should talk. So that's why this is called Let's Talk Relationship Goals. But it's for my uh, When She Speaks Wednesday segments, okay? But here's the thing. I want you all to be sure to make sure you tune in. In a couple weeks, like I said, I've been promoting it like crazy. I'm having a sit down with a good dear friend, a good dear friend of mine. And um, they are a couple. She recently, oh, I don't want to spill it. But like I said, I want you all to take a look at it. It's going to be great. But um, one of the things people always ask about, like, is the person, well, I want a man that's going to be this, I want to be a man that's going to be that. But the first thing you should ask is this even the season that you all should be in trying to be, you know, in relationship. A lot of times that we think about, oh, we just want to be the person, but have we taken care of self first before we try to go and enter into a relationship, period, you know? So the things that you have to think about is before the person. Uh, Michael Todd, Pastor Michael Todd from Transformation Church did a very good segment on this in his previous relationship goal series called Before the Person. It was really good, so you guys should go and check that out. Now, here are just a few questions that I think that any person should ask um, whether or not they should be getting a relationship. So, the questions to ask yourself before attempting to or getting in a relationship. Number one. Does God want me to be in a relationship right now? Hardest question for people to face. Does God really want me to be in a relationship right now? Like that's like one of the biggest things that we do have to ask ourselves. A lot of times we just keep thinking about what we want instead of asking the father, okay, the father, what it is that he wants for us. So that's the number one question you should ask. Does he want you to be in a relationship right now? Uh, number two, have I done my best to become my best self? You know, I think I mentioned this back here about, you know, sometimes we get sick of us and dealing with all the stuff we have to deal with on our own. So now we want to go and put all of that baggage or put all of that other access stuff we're dealing with on someone else. How dare you? Y'all, how dare you? You need to do work on those insecurities. You need to do work on yourself. If you don't like you being 250 some pounds, then you need to go and do something about it, okay? Like, just don't put all those things on someone else. Fabricated expectations equals um, a lot of frustration. It was something like that that Pastor Mike just said in one of his last sermon segments. We put unexpected and fabricated and just unrealistic expectations on other people. And I'm not saying I have standards. Have standards, but let God be the standard. Don't go in talking about you need to be 6'5", dark hair, hazel green eyes, whatever, all that other stuff. Uh-uh. No. But you can make sure that yourself is good. Am I financially stable? If he's here or not here, can I take care of myself? You know, um, do I, have I went uh, salsa dancing or something like to try to make me a little bit more cultural or whatever. You know, you just, you should get into the, the, the hang of that, trying to make sure that you've done enough work on yourself. Do I have great communication skills? Am I not insecure? Every time his phone ring, I'm in there like, uh, chick, what? Bro, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that ain't cute at all. Okay, number four, and I just kind of talked on this. I'm sorry, number three. Number three. Am I wanting to seek love or validation? Do you want to be with someone truly because you want to share your life with somebody or you're looking for a partner? Or are you seeking validity from that person? Are you beautiful? Do you know you're beautiful or do you need him to tell you you are? Do you know that you're handsome and you got it going on or do you need her to tell you and text you in five seconds and be like, yeah, baby, you got this? Uh, you have to make sure you're getting in for the right reasons. 
because if you're not getting in it for the right reasons, the reasons why you are in it will surface at some point. I can guarantee you it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trust me. I saw with my own eyes. Anyway, but yeah, am I seeking, am I wanting to seek love or validation? All right, number four, and like I said, I did kind of touch on this a second ago. Unrealistic expectations. You can't expect a man to be out here making six figures, driving three cars, got a five-bedroom house, and you sitting over here, uh, not saying anything wrong with working at fast food restaurants, whatever, but you sitting over here making only seven twenty-five an hour, and you expect a man to come along and just poof, poof, be gone. Just he just gonna. Take care of all the now that's great for men to do that because women should be treated like a queen, but you should also be bringing something to the table, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should be bringing something to the table. Um, are you going to be mostly available to deal with both you and his stress because he has a job that stresses him out to know? And are you going to be able to calm him down when the stock market plummets and him as a stockbroker, he's fearing losing his job, whatever it is? But I just want women to understand that they also have to be bringing something to the table now. Men have a table for them to come and sit down at. <laughs> have a table where they can come and sit down. I don't need to like. Okay, you want? What am I bringing to the table? Well, I can't bring nothing to the table. There ain't no table there. <laughs> Y'all, we ain't gonna stay on that too long. But yes, do I have unrealistic expectations? That's another one. All right, and number five, and this is a biggie here. They might. Uh, unsubscribe me after they hit us. Have I healed from the seeds that were planted in my past? Have you healed from past hurts, uh, past things that have troubled you, traumatized you, and past relationships? Whether that's the relationship between you and your father, relationship between you and your ex fiance, relationship between you and your ex boyfriend, ex friend, um, trust issues. Do you have an issue with intimacy? Do you have insecurity issues because the person that you were with never thought you were good enough? All of those issues that you faced in your past, if you did not handle them, manage them, and take care of those. And by that, I mean praying to God and asking him to come in and deal with all those insecurities. Now, I'm not saying that every single person has to take that route. I wish that everyone would understand that God is the one who can take all of your problems and wash them clean. But um, if you don't, Again, like I said, I'm a very spiritual person, so I can't, yeah. But you have to let God deal with those insecurities and those past hurts because they will eat away with you and destroy any possible future that you may have with relationship with someone else that could be entirely great for you. So I just want to make sure that we're, we're thinking about these things, okay? We're thinking about these things. So these are just some of the few, okay? A few things just for us to think about. Now, just keep in mind, just a couple honorable mentions. Again, and I just mentioned it earlier, in a couple of weeks with a very special guest, uh, my friend and her husband, we're going to be doing a relationship goals is reality. Where we're going to be exposing a few things about the truth of relationships, okay? The truth, the light, and the darkness. And that is something that happens in every relationship. Between the light and the darkness, in the middle, there is truth, okay? And my end this for the right reason? Was I not um, love? Does it still exist? What is the complications of having black love? Do black men no longer love black women? It's, it's just gonna be really good. It's gonna be really good. So I want you all to be sure to tune in for that. Again, thank you all so much for tuning into my channel. If you like this video, please like and subscribe below, share this video. And again, you guys, you all know what I always say, stay up and stay blessed and uh, stay black. <laughs>